How's the crack, future pharmacists? This is a popular Irish saying and is a cheerful way to ask, how's it going? It really shows the warmth and charm of Ireland, inviting you to enjoy the adventure ahead. Imagine waking up to a picturesque landscape where your passion for pharmacy not only flourishes but makes a difference in people's lives. In this video, we will unravel all the essential steps to becoming a pharmacist in Ireland. From understanding your qualifications to passing the important exams and securing your registration, we are going to talk about it all. If you are excited about this journey, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss any valuable insights we have in store. First things first, understanding your qualifications. To practice as a pharmacist in Ireland, you need a recognized pharmacy degree. It can be either B Pharm, M Pharm or Pharm D. If you studied outside the European Union, don't worry. The first step is to start with the third country qualification recognition or the TCQR process. Your journey begins with the application verification. This means you will submit your academic transcripts and proof of your pharmacy qualifications to the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland or PSI. They carefully review your credentials to ensure they meet Irish standards. This is stage 1, internal review for validity and eligibility. Once your application is verified, it is stage 2, holistic assessment. Independent assessors appointed by the PSI will check your qualifications and experience with Irish standards. They will check your academic qualification and practical training. The regulatory framework and accreditation of your home country's pharmacy program, postgraduate education, work experience and ongoing professional development. Based on this, they will determine if you have to take Path A or Path B. Path A means your qualifications meet the Irish standards and you can proceed directly to registration without having to take any exam. You will receive a certificate of qualification appropriate for practice. Path B means your qualifications did not meet the requirements and you will have to take an exam which is your stage 3B. The examination consists of two parts, MCQ and OSCE. You will need to pass this exam to move further. If you pass the exam, then you will receive a certificate of qualification appropriate for practice. This is your stage 3A and 4B. The final step in the TCQR process. But hold on, before you can register with the PSI, you will need to demonstrate your English proficiency as well. This step is vital as effective communication is the key to an effective pharmacy practice. You can show your English skills through tests like IELTS, OET or TOEFL. Once you go through the TCQR process and meet the English proficiency requirements, it's all done. Congratulations! With your registration in hand, you are now officially a pharmacist in Ireland, ready to explore a world of exciting career opportunities from community pharmacy to hospital roles and everything in between. And let's not forget about the amazing perks of being a pharmacist in Ireland. Alongside competitive salaries and a strong demand for your skills, you are going to enjoy a fantastic work-life balance, access to continuous professional development and a warm welcoming community. As they say, a hundred thousand welcomes, a perfect reflection of the friendly atmosphere you can expect. And if you're looking for comprehensive support, consider enrolling in our PSI Pharmacy Exam Preparation course. And if you have any questions or need any personalized guidance, don't hesitate to fill out the form in the description for free one-on-one -on -one counseling. Thank you for joining us today. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share it with your fellow aspiring pharmacists. Here's to your success in Ireland.